Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tolani and I'm Diary of a Kitchen Lover. The other day I was planning to make some Zobo drinks as part of our free food boxes for my followers. So I thought, why don't I show my YouTube family how I made this Zobo? So you need to sit back, relax and enjoy to see how I made these bottles of Zobo for 20 people. And I'm sure you will definitely learn something from this video. Let me do a quick run through the ingredients I'll be using for the Zobo drink. These are purple hibiscus flour. You can call this Zobo leaf and it can be bought off the market. We would also be using some oranges. So we are going to go ahead to juice the orange. The orange juice is what we are going to be using for the Zobo drink. Now I will list all the ingredients in the description box so you can look out for them, okay? We'll be using three large pineapples. I'll be using the pineapple peel so you need to wash it properly. We'll would also be blending the pineapples with some ginger for some extra flavor we'll be using some cucumbers we would also be using some lemons we will slice the lemons and cook it while cooking the zobo leaves the lemons are very very important for some tangy taste inclusive with the tangy taste you get from the oranges like i earlier mentioned we would also be blending some ginger with the pineapples and cloves cloves are very very important for your zobo drink so you need to add cloves when you're buying your ingredients these are all the ingredients we'll be needing for the zobo drink so we'll go ahead to prepare it now please watch this video to the end okay the first thing we want to do is to slice and juice some oranges the orange juice comes in lastly when the zobo has cooled off some people also slice their oranges and cook the zobo leaves with the oranges but i believe in adding the juice so that i can get the best out of the oranges but if you want to slice and cook with this it is totally fine so we're just using the citrus juice now to juice this and once this is done we go ahead to work on the pineapples also now you go ahead to wash your pineapples thoroughly and then peel them we're going to be using the peel and we're also going to be blending the pineapples with some ginger Now we slice the cucumbers and the lemons. We we'll also cut and peel the ginger. Most times I don't like to peel my ginger. I just wash them thoroughly. The peel from the ginger is also very healthy. So I don't peel them most times. So once you're done, you go ahead to now blend the pineapples with the ginger and proceed to make your zobo. I'll be adding the blended pineapples and ginger into the cooking zobo leaves most times people just slice and directly add the pineapples and ginger into the cooking liquid but this one is way better because all of the juice releases into the cooking drink and you know extra flavor for you so this one is way better and of course i'll be using my butchie mix blender we all know that butchie mix blender is one of the strongest blender in the whole of nigeria yes so once i'm done with this i'll just transfer it into the cooking zobo leaves <music> Make sure you wash your hibiscus flour very well before you start to cook okay then add some water and then add the blended pineapples and ginger you can see that this one is way better than slicing even though you would still use the pineapple peel 
the pineapple juice is way better than just slicing it into the pot now i'm adding the pineapple peel i've added the cloves now i'll go ahead to also add the cucumbers the lemon also the orange juice is coming in lastly when the zobo has you know cooled down a bit okay so once you have added this just mix it very well and then go ahead to cook on low heat for like you know 30 minutes to 40 minutes until you know the drink is already very very purple you know that your zobo is ready <music> Here is the mixture at exactly 50 minutes later. Remember that I was cooking on extremely low heat. And if you are cooking for the quantity of people that I'm cooking for, that's 20 people, you need to use a very, very large pot like this so that it can contain it and you don't have to, you know, split them into two. So now give this a very good mix and you can now proceed to add some sugar you can taste it if the um if the sweetness is perfect for you please don't add sugar okay just add sugar if you feel like you know you want it sweeter now i'm adding very little sugar to this so that you know i would also add the orange juice at the end and get a very very perfect taste from my zobo drink you're sure it is properly cooked once you are very very sure go ahead to sieve and make sure that you know no particles goes with the zobo drink i'm not sure you want to be drinking zobo and you know tasting particles from ginger or pineapples and and the likes you get so now add the orange juice and just give this a very good mix and then go ahead to start to transfer into your bottles this is how to make a very very nice tasty and natural naturally tasty zobo you can see how very thick and very colorful the drink is i just thought to show you that so this is going to serve exactly 23 bottles we were planning for 20 but we eventually got 23 bottles <music> to seal the bottles use the stickers since we are sending these out to my followers we also go ahead to freeze it until the day we are ready to send this out so guys this is how to make zobo for 20 people even though we got more than 20 but you know this measurement is perfect for 20 people so tell me in the comment section if you enjoyed watching this and if you are going to be trying this if you have ever thought of making your own zobo from the comfort of your home i hope you use this recipe and come back and testify please let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye